To live pictures this morning from the U.S. Capitol. The U.S. Senate's Commerce Committee set to vote on Governor Mundo's nomination as Commerce Secretary today, part of a big day for Rhode Island's governor. She's also set to deliver what could be her final State of the State address tonight, if and when she is eventually confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Not a done deal yet, but we are expecting it to happen without any hiccups. Kate Walsh looking ahead for us live this morning. Yeah, well, the Commerce Committee is set to vote this morning at 9.30, but even if they approve the governor as Commerce Secretary, she then needs to the majority approval of the full Senate, and when that vote is set to happen is still unknown. Now, we watched last week when the Commerce Committee questioned Raimondo ahead of today's vote. Most asked her basic questions, but Republican Senator Ted Cruz questioned her record and asked how she'd get jobs for thousands impacted by President Biden's executive orders on the Keystone XL pipeline. If you were confirmed as Secretary of Commerce, what would you say to those 11,000 construction workers whose jobs have been destroyed by the stroke of a pen, and, and, and what would you say to them? I would say we're going to get you to work. I would say that climate change is a threat to all of us. Another Texas lawmaker, Congressman Michael McCall, is urging the full Senate to place a hold on Raimondo's nomination, saying he and about a dozen other Republican lawmakers are concerned she didn't commit to restricting Huawei, a Chinese telecommunications giant, which they deem a security threat to Americans. The governor said she would be reviewing policy on it when she was asked about that. Regardless of what happens in Washington this morning, Governor Raimondo will be delivering her State of the State address to Rhode Islanders tonight at 7 o'clock. You can watch it live here on WPRI 12, and then our team will also have a special digital broadcast at that time as well. And I'll have a full breakdown on what we can expect her to talk about in the next half hour. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. Top local story at 631. Next step in determining Governor Mundo. Morning in Washington, while the governor is set to address the future of Rhode Island tonight. Very busy day. Kate Walsh joins us now live with what we can expect the governor to talk about and what will probably be her final state of the state address. Well, Patrick, this morning in Washington, the Senate Commerce Committee will vote on Governor Raimondo's nomination to Commerce Secretary. And no matter what happens there, she's then expected to address Rhode Islanders tonight at 7 o'clock in what could be one of her last final acts as governor. This, of course, video from a previous State of the State address. Usually it's full of ceremony, pomp, and circumstance. And a leader reflects on the past successes while also outlining future goals. Well, tonight might look different as Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee is set to take over for Raimondo in the coming days if Raimondo's cabinet position is indeed approved. And because of the pandemic, the General Assembly gave the governor extra time to craft the upcoming budget, which means that will fall to Dan McKee to finalize, most likely. It will also look different this year because the address will be virtual. The governor is still set to deliver the speech from the House chamber at the State House, but it's unclear how many people will actually be in attendance and who those people will be. Now, the governor's office did say that she plans to reflect on her past six years in office, including investments in jobs job training, education, health care, and how she helped the economy. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. And you can see the governor's state of the state address tonight at 7 o'clock. We'll be carrying it live on WPRI 12 and online at WPRI.com. Immediately following the speech, we'll have reaction and analysis during a special digital show on our website in addition to our coverage on 12 News at 10 and 11.